Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video, we will take a look at the latest from Android 16, which is Android 16 QPR1 Beta 1, which was just launched today on May 20th. Now there is a lot of differences when it comes down to the look and the feel of regular Android 16 versus Android 16 QPR1. You'll be able to notice some of the differences right up over here inside of your quick settings. You'll notice it also inside of the volume rocker. It looks a little different. So we'll go through a lot of the differences and updates that this brings. Now the devices in front of me here, this one is the Google Pixel 8 running Android 16, and this one is the Google Pixel 9 running the brand new QPR1. Now when you take a look at this update, this will give you that May 1st security patch. As you scroll down, it's going to give you a little bit of details of what QPR1 is, which is the quarterly platform release. And when you take a look at some of the available devices to do this update, if you would want to be a part of the beta program, it is all of the devices from the most recent going back to the Google Pixel 6. Now, a lot of what you will be seeing is Material 3 Expressive. Now, you'll see that in the notifications, the quick settings, the lock screen, the launcher, and a few other areas. So what I'll do is I'll place this link below the video inside the description. So this way, if you'd like to read more about this refresh, you'll be able to click it, read it. It's going to give you all the details for your Android phone and Wear OS. Now, this is called Material 3 Expressive. It's just a way to kind of make your phone a little bit more fluid and expressive, personalized, and just, you know, all around look and feel better. You'll be able to watch a video. You can take a look at the GIFs right here, showing you some examples of what you will get with this update. But we'll also cover a lot of these in the video today. But I want to share with you where you can see more if there's anything that I have missed. Now going back to these two devices here, this is regular Android 16 and this is Android 16 QPR1. When you take a look at the top, you can see a few differences here when it comes down to the icons of Wi-Fi, mobile data, and battery. This is the newer refreshed look. Also, if you wanna take a look at the volume rocker, you'll see that this one is indicated by a line. And if you do have your haptic feedbacks on, you'll be able to feel the haptic feedback going up and down with this. So again, it looks slightly different than what we have right over here. Also, if you want, you'd be able to take a look at the expanded view. So if we open this up again, you can see a slight difference. You can see that this one is a little bit taller right over here. This one's a little bit shorter. This is where you have your indicators and also the information looking just a little bit different. Again, instead of just a regular rounded corner, you have a straight cutoff line letting you know where you are with your volumes. Here's the ring notifications, the alarm, and then right over here, you can see the option for live caption. Now let's take a look at the quick settings and notifications page. There's a lot going on here that is different. First off, when you take a look at Wi-Fi, over here in regular Android 16, it just says that you're connected to internet and that's it. Over here, we have the new icon as well as we are connected because it's highlighted and it tells us which one we are connected to. Now next up, when you take a look at Bluetooth, this one does have a on off switch. And then if you would want to go into the settings of Bluetooth, you tap this and this is the quick settings. So this way you're able to pair it to a new device or manage all of your Bluetooths. Now on Android 16, you just tap on it anywhere. It takes you to the screen here. This is where you can either have it on or off and then you can still manage it. So I think I like this one a lot better because there's a couple things you might be doing with Bluetooth. First off, you might just wanna have a fast toggle to turn it off or turn it on. And then if you want to, it's separated. This is where you go into those quick settings. Over here, no matter what, you have to go into pretty much both of them. Now, next up, let's say that we pull this down and then you want and you wanted to edit some of these little icons. Now, over here, you can see the differences between the two. This is how they are set up. This is where you can rearrange them uh, and all of that good stuff. Then down over here, this is just where you have all the rest of the, the tiles that you can add in, but there is no organization with it. Over here, you have all the tiles you can add in, but it's all organized from connectivity, the utilities, display, privacy, accessibility, and you can see the ones that are used or not used throughout this whole entire thing that you're able to toggle them on or off. Everything right here that is you know shaded in, that means that they're already a part of it. And if I wanted to add in something, you have the plus icon to bring it up. Now, any of these that you don't want, you tap them and then they will be deselected from showing up 
with your quick settings. So you can see the big differences here between Android 16 and an Android 16 QPR1. Now going back inside of the quick settings and notifications page, what you'll see on the very top and also with your brightness lines, here's the old version of brightness line, or I should say Android 16, so it's rounded. Here's the cutoff for Android 16 QPR1, and then also these icons on the top, everything all listed out on how long the battery would last, the newer battery icon. So instead of it being vertical, it is now horizontal with a number inside of it. And then also your icons over here that has been updated. So your mobile data, you know, uh, connection, your Wi-Fi, and then also if your phone is in vibrate mode. And it looks as if the date and the time is a little bit larger on the newer version of QPR1. Now going back to the look and the feel, when it comes down to your notifications, if you're about to swipe off of any of these, what you'll notice is that they are kind of uh, attaching onto each other. So the ones that are close together, they kind of have a little bit of a stickiness with it. Now, speaking of notifications, there will actually be a full entire page for notifications on QPR1 versus a small little pop-up over here on regular Android 16. So when you go inside of notifications and then you go to notifications on lock screen, you see this has a full page dedicated to it and this one just has a small little pop-up. So there's not as much customizations you can do with it. You just have show notifications, default and silent, hide uh, silent conversations and notifications, uh, and then don't show any notifications. Over here, you have these options here, which is show scene notifications, show silent notifications, show sensitive content. And then also too, you can display how you want all of your notifications to come through. Do you only want a compact view where you have one main one and then a few of them below? Or would you like to have like three of them there and then the rest of them overflowed um, below it. So this is where you can go from the compact to the full list. And then you also have those other settings that was pretty much just right over here. Now, if you are new to Android 16, there's another way to get to your apps list, and that's just by doing a press and hold and tapping. Now, I know it's simple just to get into your application list just by swiping up on your home screen and it takes you into your applications list, but there could be some situations where it might be easier for you to do a press and then a tap rather than a swipe. So maybe your hands are wet or something like that or greasy and you don't want to get all that everywhere. You just do a simple press and hold and then hit on the apps list. Now, taking a look at the application list, you can see a little bit of a difference when it comes down to it, especially on the very top right up over there. This one seems to go a little bit higher and the QPR one seems to be a little bit lower with this one here. So it might be easier for you to find and tap on everything. Also, I want to take a look at the settings page because we didn't really take a look at this one. I kind of went into it really quick, but everything is still categorized out over here and organized, but you will have a little uh, uh, circle or color around all of the icons. So I think that this looks a little bit better. I think it makes everything kind of pop out anyways, since we are used to looking at, you know, application icons. We're used to looking at icons everywhere. So why not actually put that into the settings as well? This one looks very flat, very bland. Over here, it looks a little bit easier to navigate around and find what you're looking for. Again, our eyes are used to seeing icons like this. So they kind of turned these little icons over here into actual icons. Uh, I guess we can put it that way. And so now it looks just like this. Now, closing out this video, let's take a look at the recent app page. And then after this video, I will go in a deep dive of this phone here to find other things that I have missed because really I just wanted to show you some of the things that has changed on the surface. Now, when you take a look at the recent app page, you can see that there's a little bit of a differences between the two here. Instead of just an icon that is in the top middle, which gives you more features of you know, what you are able to do, this one over here is a oblong icon with the name also with it. So rather than just an icon of YouTube, this one actually gives you the name YouTube and the icon in a oblong format. Now, when you tap on this, you'll see additional options that wasn't over here from before. Now, this one doesn't have the latest version of Android 16 beta. I believe this one went to like beta one or beta two, but it didn't go through beta four to get some of these newer features here. So this is where you have pause app. This is where you have your screenshot. You have select and close. Now, even though you have a couple of them down over here, so it is a repeat of what you see on the top, again, maybe it's easier for some people to tap on screenshot or select towards the top middle rather than towards the bottom. 
And then you will have this option here for close, which again, could make it just a little bit easier. And then when you do take a look at the recent app page, when you see what you're able to do with all of these recent apps, it's still there. So with this little image here, I can use Google Lens, I can copy it, share it, save it. Or what I can do over here, if it's a website, I'd be able to just copy it and share it immediately rather than having to go into the website or this little application and then copying it from that page. I can just do it right here on this screen. So the way that this interacts and works, it is all very, very, very smooth. And it's looking really good here on the QPR one. And then closing out this video, if you were not a part of the Android 16 beta program, or maybe you just had beta one or beta two, and you didn't update it much after that, you're going to have a very large update getting this QPR one beta one. This one over here was not on the final version of Android 16, you know, beta four. So this one's a larger update at 2.9 gigs. Now this one over here, this one, I went through everything. I went from, you know, Android uh, 16 beta one through Android 16 beta 4.1 or something like that. And so my size isn't as big. So depending on where you were, if you were either a part of the program or not a part of the program, you'll have either a smaller versus a bigger update. But that's everything I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys have appreciated it. If you guys did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.